recording? Uh, is it Windows round one or two? It's I just top, go to the top, the top. Nothing else is at the top of your desk. Can you close the door? Please. He's up. Okay, He's starting off. At the top, the very, very top. Red actually doing a really good job of spacing stuff, getting some damage. Got 46% start off the bat. Wait, and that's pretty good percent automatically here. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. yeah I know. Uh, Alright, and, and already, Nothing Mouse has already tied up the percents pretty much. It's just gonna take a few solid connections here to actually get the kill. She's so good at racking up damage, mm -hmm. it's getting those kill confirms that is the problem. Yeah, that's the hard part. No worries, I'll take over. To... Yeah. Oh. Okay, with the punish. Mash is out of grab, surprisingly. That's always a scary thing. Mm -hmm. Trying to get out of grabs. Alright, percents are around the same here. Although red is in danger, will the up air up? Oh, mm -hmm. misses. misses. Tries to go for the down B uh, right afterwards. And he's missing a lot of these hits that could do massive damage to red over here. Oh, nice. Tomahawk there. Okay. Oh, that weird hitbox gets him out of it. I love that, but it's, yeah. it's so finicky. Down B connects and he gets the kill, taking the first stock mm -hmm. off of red. Now, the only question is here, it, it's not going to take much for Nothing Mouse to really rack up more extra credit against red. It's got to be his job now. <laughs> that was a crazy, very, very beautiful pin grab. Yeah. As a Bowser player, I, I like it. But <laughs> still, he's already gotten so much damage off. Red has to be extremely careful about how he's going to engage against Nothing Mouse right now. Okay, nice punch there. Oh, he's going to get back. Ooh, Not nice. Not yet, yet. Very, very nice guy coming up from Not Nothing Mouse. Red still looking for oh, his punish. Very, very he's nice guy. He's done an excellent job of, of making sure that he didn't take too much damage during that stock, but the, now the problem becomes, can he keep it up and really not give Nothing Mouse kind of any kind of quarter? Yeah. Yeah. I think also Red's, uh, he's more aware of uh, Bowser's falling off things, like he saw he shielded the downer. Mm -hmm. So now I think Red's going to be looking out for that, because I know Nothing Mouse likes to throw those out. Tries to go for the pin grab again, gets it this time, can mm -hmm. he get it? Koopa does not connect. Right. This is the this is the moment where Red has to be careful once again. He understands that the more he, rage he racks up on on Bowser, the harder it's going to be for him to actually land that Koopa. And eventually, he just won't be able to land it at all. But if he can get a nice guard here, which he is doing so far, mm. whoo! Very very nice connection there. Makes it back with a very very nice upbeat whirling fortress. Ooh. Red pick, playing it cool, playing it careful. Oh. Nice patience coming out. Oh, misses. Ooh. He's trying to go for the trump there. Yep, tries to find something with, tries to get back onto the mistakes with the bouncing fish. And, you know, he's doing a good job. The damage is really high. Oh, down tilt comes out, does take out. the kill. I think All Red right. had a really good showing there, though. Because, yeah. as you can see, when he hit him before, uh, that string of just hitting him lasted till like, 90% for Red. Like, Which was solid. He really just needed maybe a good edge guard conversion mm -hmm. to really take that next stock. So, opting to go to FD here. Tip 6. Tip 6, okay. I'm going to be hopping off. Alright. I will sort I think of you can hold it out, though. I'll try. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting into game number two here of Nothing Mouse versus Red. Now, initially, Nothing Mouse did take game number one, but Red did show that he has the potential to combo massive and a lot of damage here onto Nothing Mouse. It's just getting that last little kill confirmed, that's the problem. Opting for the Deku Nut. I'm getting a little bit of damage off of it. Ooh, nice conversion into the Bouncing Fish. Now, something that I've already seen from these players is that Red likes to get those co conversions, he likes to get those combos, he's very aware of what Nothing Mouse is doing a lot of the time. He's only taken 19% so far, Whirling Fortress does come out and does get him off of him, 
which is very nice. It's a very good technique and tool for Bowser to use to get a lot of those faster players off of him so that he can kind of reset on the stage. Red does try to go for that bouncing fish, but doesn't quite connect. He's getting a little hungry for it, which I think Nothing Mouse is catching on to. Nice try with the F-Tilt to try and punish Red, but it doesn't quite do anything of what he wanted. Beautiful job just following Nothing Mouse all over the stage. Tries to go to the up air, but whiffs it. This is the moment where he can try and get some sort of edge guard. Doesn't quite get anything off of it. But he's certainly trying his hardest to find some sort of way to keep Nothing Mouse from regaining that stage control. And stage control as Bowser is so, so crucial. Ooh! Punishes the Whirling Fortress with an up smash. Very, very nice job. Red has taken the first sock in this game. Now, it doesn't mean uh, that Nothing Mouse is out for good here. Red does still have to play careful, and he wants to earn that extra credit. But every little mishap is another close to dying. Ooh, nice forward tilts coming out here to, into fairs. Racking up quite a little bit of percent. Not bad at all. <clears throat> all right, looks like Nothing Mouse is just looking for those right opportune moments. Gets punished again for using the dare. And Red is on fire as per usual with his name. <laughs> Nice conversion into the Bouncing Fish. Already putting a lot of pressure onto Nothing Mouse here. Nice little fair to get himself back onto the stage. Random up smash probably was a misclick. Or was a very, very hard read. But the movement on red right now is so, so crisp. Showing, hey man, just because you took game number one does not mean I'm out for the count. Knocking Nothing Mouse off the stage here, and the down B does come out. A misplay from Red. This game certainly still is on, and Nothing Mouse, if anything, does have the rage to bring it back. Fair does come out, but Nothing Mouse doesn't die just yet. Bowser's a very, very big character, and I guess the killing potential, that is Sheik. You will have to be very, very careful. Beautiful Fair canceling out that Bouncing Fish, but the up air comes out, and Red takes game number two. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Skynerd, your commentator, welcoming you all to the Utah Smash Smash Force uh, stream this Wednesday, happening every Wednesday at 801 Labs at 8.30. We hope you guys have been enjoying these matches so far just as much as I've been commentating them, and we hope that you continue to keep tuning in. All right, going to Dreamland. Very, very early kill pressure here from Nothing Mouse against Red. That's going to be the main problem for him, and I feel like that's why he counterpicked to this stage. Now, Thought Patrol, <laughs> or Nothing Mouse, has had a hard time really finding those connections, but with these platforms, he's going to be able to use a lot more of tilts and other aerial options to kind of continue those combos and kind of catch Red off guard. Uh, Red still does have the same potential to do uh, a lot of follow-ups off of those platforms, just right there, a fair dropped from a combo, which stopped him from racking on a little bit more damage. Can't afford to do those as Sheik, so you have to be careful. But he has done an excellent job of recuperating, and once again, gaining a lot of stage control. Trying to go for some sort of pivot tilt here. Coming out from Nothing Mouse, but it looks like Red is already caught on a lot to what Nothing Mouse is trying to do. Tries to trump him on the ledge, but it doesn't quite do anything. Nice job following him. He gets the fair connection into up smash on the platform. Red is on fire, and he's not letting up anytime soon so far. Whirling Fortress are trying to cover the get up option, but Red is having none of that right now. Nothing Mouse in a bit of a dire strait here, but he can always bring it back. Bowser has such massive uh, killing power in this matchup. He just has to find the right moment to punish Red accordingly. A lot of rolls come out from both players here. But Red's movement is very, very crisp uh, looking right now. Connects with the Bouncing Fish. And he's just keeping that 
beautiful stage control. Kind of gives it up for a second there. Tries to go for the Koopa, but hey, no such luck. You got to do other things than grab. He gets the up tilt. And it doesn't quite kill yet. Dreamland, a very, very small stage in comparison to what it once was. Still opting to go for some pivot grabs here, but those aren't really going to do much right now. Tries to down B onto the ledge, and Red's already caught on to the plan here. Uses a little bit of patience to try and see out an option of what Nothing Mouse can do. Down tilt does come out, but it doesn't kill quite yet. Trying to find some sort of opening here to get in, but he's having so much trouble. Red doing an impeccable job of just keeping him out. Up air does come out. It doesn't kill just yet. Massive rage buildup on Nothing Mouse. And the same for Red, but he gets the up air, and that's going to take it. 3 2. Red continues onward and winners. Uh, tell John to call another match for sure. That we got the score. That's good, huh? Can we get Clubber L versus Dirty Dan on setup six? Dirty Dan. <laughs> you might be next. I'm Dirty Dan. Skyner versus Pine Hunter on Tuesday. Okay. Oh, who was that? Skyner versus Pine Hunter on Tuesday. Okay. Just destroy him. I'll try. Show, show him how. Show him the difference between a uh, top player and a non top player. Can I, can I